Uh, I'm really curious about this. If you thermos go in proxy battle cruisers, then he's my favorite Terran player of all time. He saved up a lot of money, which is why I think it's possible. Even though most of the time you would assume Liberators and Liberator range as the more logical choice, Euthermal almost has enough money for a battle cruiser. So I'm gonna hold my breath. Oh, he's doing micro. Yeah! Right now, what Harstam has is one unit that shoots up. So if Euthermal doesn't walk this in, but immediately just teleports it across the map, there's nothing to really contest this. A stalker, a sentry, two more stalkers on the way. The battle cruiser can fight this. I have fought this battle before. I know how this goes. This is the one part of StarCraft 2 I really understand. And while there's a Phoenix coming up next, guys, you should know battle cruisers have some of the highest base armor in the game at three. That Phoenix is gonna come out and tickle this bad boy. He focuses down the pile on to shut down future warpings into night production. As more stalkers come out. This battle cruiser does not have a teleport out of the base, so this is actually getting really dangerous for you, Thermal. Keep in mind, this thing costs as much as a bloody command center to build. It's not easy to lose it. That being said, look at the damage done. This battle cruiser needs a mule voice. Another battle cruiser comes out after this one too. I don't know if it'll be more or less effective than the first, but the key thing is this battle cruiser can hide in the corner now and wait for that teleport cooldown, which will be up very soon. And in eight seconds, tactically jump back home and repair while simultaneously defending his natural. Oh, the cost efficiency. Oh, stop, I can only be so erect. Now he's not teleporting back home immediately. He's focusing down here, but I really think he should because my fear is even with that chunky armor, 22 health of that battle cruiser is so risky to leave down there. Still, Yo no Yamato cannon coming out of this. He's focusing on just auto attack damage. This battle cruiser, of course, can walk away a little bit more easily than the other, uh, which, did he teleport home or did he walk it in? No, he did teleport home, okay. Repairing that bad boy up. Deals with the fight in the natural base. Stalkers are getting a little bit better at this point. This is where you really miss having Yamato cannon. Um, he turns around on the Phoenix. Oh my god! Nine health on this battle cruiser! Wait! Nine, eleven! Never forget how good these battle cruisers were. If you guys haven't watched you thermal over the course of time on the channel. One of my favorite experiences was there was this like three to six month stretch where you thermal could not beat late game Zerg. Like literally could not beat late game Zerg no matter what he did. So he started like desperately improvising weird builds, crazy strategies, and it resulted in some of those fun games I ever cast, him versus Nurchio, right? This is why I love this Battle Cruiser build, because to me, this feels like the necessity born from a loss and balance wine frustration. I don't feel like this was a build he prepared and said, look, this is something I was hiding for Katowice. But the beauty is, man, he is bringing the boys, not the SCVs, but the Marines. A little bit of stim power, power paired up with these battle cruisers, and Harsim's army just doesn't stand a chance. It can't stand its ground to fight, because if it does, the battle cruisers walk in. And as you can see, that sentry goes down immediately. Looking for another stim here. He's got to be careful. He doesn't have a medevac to heal these up. Let the battle cruisers take the shots, maybe. Either way, this force out of you, Thermal, is actually very possibly a game winning force. Look at that damage! Widowmine forced to be focused when he takes his attention away from the battle cruisers, away from the marines. He kites back just a little bit to get away from the probes, but Harstam might be too far behind. GG! He does it with the proxy battle cruisers! Oh!